Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, longtime listener. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are starting a 1.5 playthrough. Uh, I actually just recorded the final episode or what was going to be the final episode of my previous playthrough on 1.4. And the reason that I did so is because we knew that we were close to the 1.5 update coming. It's a couple of days before Christmas, and I wanted to give myself some time off to kind of just kind of refresh, recharge the batteries before jumping into a 1.5 update. Because I was thinking that he might post the update like on Christmas kind of thing. But here it is, like literally a half hour after I completed finish uh, recording that episode, that it's out on Steam. So we are going to jump in and do a 1.5 playthrough. For those of you who don't know um, or haven't followed me previously, I would call myself an advanced player. So, you know, you're going to see some, you know, skill set type things that are probably a little bit more advanced than uh, the average player. However, I will try and sort of explain a lot of my strategies and things that we're going to be doing uh, as we go. Um, so, here we go. Now, the part of the reason we're going to start a new farm is because the beach farm is now available. You see there it says good foraging and fishing, tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on shore, which is nice. However, and this is a big however, sprinklers do not work in the sandy soil. Um, and that's going to be kind of frustrating because... We're going to be the Sandy Shores farm because we're on a beach. Um, and the reason that's a big deal is because I had already literally like played a few weeks of a playthrough to try and kind of set realistic uh, goals for the first season. And a lot of those goals were built around getting quality sprinklers ready for the first summer. Um, well, obviously, that's kind of useless now. So... I don't know what the map is going to look like um, in terms of like the the beach farm and the space. I had already literally mapped out in the planner what my ultimate farm was going to look like when everything was all said and done. And now we're basically starting with a blank slate. Now I am going to show the intro and I apologize. The volume is a little bit off from where I want it because I'm going to have to get into the game and then lower the volume settings. So you hear a little bit me more of me and less of the... Uh, game audio but let's get after it i'm going to let you watch the uh the intro video and a lot of you may have already seen this part of the game but this will give me time to explain sort of some of my goals now through the first spring um so actually before i do that just a general explanation of what you're seeing here in the video for those of you who don't know grandpa's dying and he's going to leave us the deed to the farm, but we're not going to open it for a while. We're going to go work for Joja Corp. We realize eventually that they're a terrible company to work for. And so we move back to Stardew Valley and we're taking over a farm that's been neglected for 20 years. Now, now that we know kind of what's the background as to how we ended up here, my goals for spring year one are as follows. We want to buy the fiberglass fishing rod on Wednesday, the third day of a playthrough. We want to buy the first backpack upgrade on or before Friday the 5th. We want to reach foraging level 4 by the end of the 14th. And the reason there is that salmonberry season starts on the 15th. And if you're at level 4 of foraging, you get an extra berry per um, bush that you shake or whatever. So there's that. We want to upgrade every one of our tools to at least copper. And then for the axe and pickaxe, I'd like for them to be steel. I didn't have this on the list before, but the watering can, we're going to want to have to be at least steel, if not gold. So that's going to be a challenge because that's basically nine upgrades, give or take, to try and get to that point. Um, and I'm not sure we can pull it off. Uh, you see a dead guy there in the corner. So that's still kind of working conditions. You got it at uh, Joja that you're dealing with. This dude... Oh, okay, that's a coffee mug. Kind of looked like he had a cat sitting there with him. Anyway, um, after the tool upgrades, we also want to purchase the second backpack upgrade. So we want to be maxed out on uh, storage space. Dear Evan, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. 
I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Sandy Shores Farm, located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, Grandpa. Oh, I also want to say, I, um... Oh, P.S. If still alive, say hi to the old... If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure thing, Grandpa. Um... I chose Stardew as my favorite thing, and you'll see eventually why that is. So, spoiler alert, but I'm not going to tell you the, the reason, but that is something to kind of be aware of. So now we're on a, a fur, fully functioning commercial bus headed to Stardew Valley, which if there's never been, if there's ever been like an ultimate sign that maybe this trip was a bad idea, as soon as the bus gets to Stardew Valley, it breaks down. So there you go. Anyway, we get the second backpack upgrade. And then my next goal on this list was to have farming level 6 plus iron, gold, and quartz enough to do at least 15 sprinklers, um, if not more, in multiples of 5. But obviously that's useless. So the other part of my goals were all based around crops. Like I want to have X amount, X amount of money in order to buy XYZ crops. Well, that's no good right now either because I don't know how many we're going to want to buy. So anyway... Hello, you must be Evan, says Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you your way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Could have picked up that daffodil while we were standing there. Whatevs. Ooh, would you look at it? Okay, the dog bowl's over there. That's different. Um, Look, there's Shore up there. This is Sandy Shore's farm. Ah! Yep, it's pretty overwhelming because there's weeds and rocks and trees. I don't see any trees that look different uh, or anything like that yet. But anyway, sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. A little dedication. You'll have it cleaned up in no time. Okie dokie. Um, and here we are, your new home. And Mayor Lewis was in there just rooting around. Ah, the new farmer. Hey, Lewis. I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. Hey, Grandpa says hi, by the way. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. I will make voices for people, and they will change throughout the playthrough. Like, Willie in particular. He always gets different voices from me. Anyway, so you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage it's a good house very rustic hmm. i love the water up here rustic <laughs> that's one way to put it says robin crusty might be a little bit more apt rude <gasps> Ooh, awkward don't listen to her evan she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades Ooh. Hmm. Tapping her toe there. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town and introduce yourself. Okay. Townspeople would appreciate that. We will be sure to do that, Lewis. And there's the shipping bin where we will sell some stuff. He comes by at night and collects it. Well, good luck. See you later. Okay, so here is the plan. It's day one. See, it's saying it's saving. And that's important, and I'll explain why in a second. Alright, so first, always show. Actually, um, how do I want to do this? Alright, let's just start by coming down here. Look at this, start local co-op right there in the menu. That's cool. So we're gonna lower the, the volume a little bit. Now, this is the first day essentially, but seeing how it just saved, what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna get out and I'm just gonna run around and kind of explore the beach farm. And then I'm going to go back to the main menu and come back in and, and well, actually, you know what? Yeah, here's what we're going to do. Because this is going to be a long freaking episode, the way things are going. 
uh, because of how you know we watch the intro. Um, and I will stay up until 2 a.m. on the first day and pass out. Plus, I'm going to run around and talk to a whole bunch of people. So it's going to be a long day. So rather than trying to squeeze all that into this first episode, what we're going to do with this one is um, I am going to give a tour of the farm now that we kind of are in here. And then I will post a second episode that is day one playthrough content. So that's why I wanted to point it out that it saved. So in any case, for now, we're just going to lower the volume because I think we'll have to do it again when we come back and actually try and play. So here he left us some parsnips, whatever, doesn't matter. This is a interesting looking homestead. I like the blue. Anyway, uh, what we want to do now is basically just run around. I want to check out the farm. So you have ocean up here that you can fish into, which is cool. How far up this way can I go? Not very. And then that's the way to town. Okay, that's the way to the woods. There's the cave. Where is the greenhouse? Ooh, it's on like an island out here. I don't like... I, I wish I had like a bridge right there. Can I get across right here? Can, can I get across right here? No, you gotta cro go across where the stones are. Look at this. Okay, there's Grandpa's grave. See, but all of this space is relatively unusable, which is not very good for me. I like usable space. But a lot of shoreline over here. Holy crap, it's a lot of shoreline. Okay, that's where you go out the bottom. But see, is this soil down here? Can I use... Um, can I use this soil and have sprinklers? Because this looks like regular dirt down here. Oh, man. See, we got more beach air. Ooh, we got... I wonder if these respawn. These stumps. I doubt it. But, okay, you got water there. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm kind of lost already. Where's my house? <laughs> Where is the house? It's got to be up here somewhere. Oh, okay, so there's the cave. So the house is still over here. So if we came straight down... For, see, all this sandy soil is where I'm assuming that the sprinklers don't work. But that area down there at the bottom that looked like regular dirt, I'll bet ya works. Uh, oh, this is a mess, y'all. So we got sandy soil, sandy soil. There's, I mean, that's a big area of sandy soil up here. And some of it goes kind of off to the right farther than I'm used to. Like usually this line here ends the farm. But if you look over here, we still got coastline and some beach. And this might be where stuff washes up. But anyway, that's a lot of space, y'all. It's all sand. But my plan for this playthrough... Look at this. Can I go out here? Ooh, I can get out there a little bit. Anyway, what is this down here? Just wreckage? Ooh! Ooh! What is this? Where does this go? Wait a minute. Okay. I'm confused. Because wasn't there a southern exit over here? Does this... What is it? Okay, so we have a, a pier out there to fish off of. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I swear there was an exit over here. Maybe that was... Was I seeing this? Look at this. More more soil. Holy crap. This map is huge, y'all. Yeah, because the greenhouse was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, so there's the greenhouse. So the, the house is like up that way. So you come down, there's some soil. Can I cut over here? Yeah, and then you got beach area. There was the, the dock down here, right? Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Sorry. Um... I, okay, I think we kind of have a general grasp of the layout. It is, it, it seems very big. 
Now, again, a lot of it is sandy where I can't use sprinklers. And what that's going to mean in terms of my strategy is I will use a lot of the sandy area for like sheds, uh, barns, coops, and fish ponds. And then that area down there at the bottom that had the little bit of soil, I might use, I mean, but it's so far away from the house that I don't know, and it's not even that big, honestly. Like, that's a lot of hardwood for me to cut up, though. That's cool. But anyway, um, that's not a huge area. But I'll bet you you can use sprinklers right there. So that'll probably happen. Um, but what we will ultimately do up here by the farm, at least at the beginning, we're going to have some crops right in here. And we're just going to have to water them every day. So that's that. Um, but once we get a little bit more established, I don't really know why I'm doing any of this. Uh, once we get a little bit more established, we might, you know, scrap those. I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't even know. Like, we're going to have some crops, and they're going to start in this general area. That may change over time once we kind of get a better feel for where we want to put stuff. Um, but the good news is, like, nobody's really familiar with this. So I'm going to be just kind of winging it. You know, the bottom line is we're going to try and be as productive as we possibly can. Um, but there are some things that we're going to have to adjust because of that sprinkler situation in terms of our uh, our ultimate plans. So, anywho, I think that's probably a good place for us to stop for now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to call it, and like I said, I'll post this as like episode one, which is just sort of an intro and a basic tour. Let's actually look at the map. Okay, yeah, see, like there's a little inlet over here that explains how we are on a beach area. Usually this is just wooded. So anyway, um, yeah, so there's the Cinder Sap Forest, Wizard's Tower. But like getting down here, there's one little space kind of straight down from the from the farmhouse that gets me to uh, this area. And then you've got water above the house, then over here to the bus stop, and everything else stays the same. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Uh, oh, no. I was going to say, let's let's do one more thing. I don't know that it'll, we'll be able to actually do anything with this. Uh, but I want to go down to the beach. Because there's also supposed to be something like that you can go out the back of Willie's. And um, take advantage of. What's up, Harvey? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I am... I don't know why I do voices. You got to do a voice if you're going to read the script. Otherwise, it's just weird with everybody having my voice doing the script. So anyway, um, all right, let's I don't think this is going to work because you probably won't be able to see what's behind his place without actually going out the back. See, it might be end game content that you have to gain access to. But I'm betting that there's going to be like a ferry that you can get on here. What was he doing in there when, when uh, Willie's not even in town? But anyway, I'll bet you there's a ferry that you can get on that takes you somewhere to a place uh, like an island, and it's going to have a different mine. So that's cool. But we're going to have to deal with that next time or later. So anyway, um, like I said, we'll call it here, and then I'll, I'll do episode two that will actually be the start of the – you know, play through with all of my strategy kicking into high gear. So uh, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Uh, comment below if you've got any ideas for me as we kind of dig into the playthrough on the new you know map or whatever, because there's going to be a lot of stuff that I might not have picked up on and some of you may have. So anyway, I appreciate you watching and we will see you all next time.